major clue in the case came when a U-Haul van that investigators linked to the suspect was discovered in Brooklyn. The tip came from a Gravesend resident who contacted authorities about a van that had been sitting outside his apartment building. He talked exclusively to CBS News' Natalie Dudgard. She is live in Gravesend now with more. Natalie. Well, hi there, Chris and Mary. Even before this subway shooting, residents tell us they noticed a white van they thought was suspicious because it was parked illegally right here. It was blocking this driveway. They say it was also blocking the bus stop, so they decided to call 311, thinking it was an abandoned vehicle, eventually alerted police, and little did they realize their tip would lead to a major crack in the case. I went upstairs, and I put on the news, and they said they were looking for a white van, a white... Uh, uh, U-Haul van with Arizona plates. So I immediately called um, the uh, 911 and told them it's downstairs. Mitchell Rosen said his alarm bells went off when he made the connection that the vehicle blocking his building in the 300 block of Kings Highway may be the van authorities were looking for. He said when he called police, there was just one question they asked him. The only thing they wanted to know was there anybody in the van. I said, well, tinted windows is tough to see, but I don't believe there's anybody in the van. The van's been there for hours. Within minutes, he said cops descended on his neighborhood and evacuated his building. A huge police presence here. And then they had the bomb squad here, too. So for hours, it must have been uh, over almost close to four hours, we were outside just waiting for them to let us back in the building. CBS2 also obtained exclusive video that appears to show suspect Frank James at 5.15 Tuesday morning walking down King's Highway just steps from the apartment building wearing a reflective vest, wheeling a cart down the street and carrying a bag. The man in the video looks identical to the man in the wanted poster police released. Residents wonder what was in the bags and if he was on his way to allegedly carry out the Brooklyn subway shooting at that moment. It's a little eerie that gentleman sitting alongside you <laughs> could do something like this. It was like really unexpected and I kind of like opened my eyes to like look around like my surroundings. Another neighbor who lives in a house across the street says a white U-Haul van was blocking his driveway three days ago and wonders if it was the same vehicle. A Sunday afternoon about 1.30 in the afternoon. It was parked for a couple hours, like three to four hours, right in front of my driveway. So I got annoyed and I put a note on the, on the windshield wiper telling him, next time you block my driveway, I'm calling the cops. Now these residents are asking one another, what was the suspect doing here? Was he gathering supplies? Why was he parked here? Is there a deeper connection to the neighborhood or was this all random? And they hope those questions will be answered soon. We are live in Gravesend, Brooklyn. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Very interesting. Natalie, thank you.